Hello dear students, you are welcome in this video. Dear students, in the previous video, we talked about letters and sounds. In this video, we are going to talk about phonemes and allophones in English and we will uh, differentiate between these two terms and we will also think about uh, how many phonemes are there in English and what are those phonemes. So, let's start with the very term called phoneme. What is phoneme? We will first discuss various definitions of phonemes. Before that, here I have listed a few questions that we are going to cover in this video. So, very first question here, uh, you can see it is what are phonemes? Very uh, basic question that we have uh, taken here. What are phonemes and allophones? Again, uh, what is the distinction between phonemes and allophones and the next question is what are those uh, phonemes and how many phonemes are there in English. Uh, uh, with English we will also talk about how many phonemes are there uh, in Marathi, Tamil or uh, other uh, languages in comparison with English and uh, dear students uh, phonemes are nothing but sounds in that particular language but these phonemes how uh, are different from allophones is the focus point of this video. So, let us start with the very definition of uh, phonemes and I have taken this uh, definition uh, from Britannica.com and here I quote phoneme in linguistics smallest unit of speech distinguishing one word or word element from another as the element uh, per in tab which separates that word from tab tag and tan. Now, it is very simple phonemes are nothing but sounds in that particular language and here we have the smallest unit of speech sound which is called as phoneme. Phoneme is nothing but sound, a particular sound in that language. For example, here we are talking about English. So, there are so many phonemes or sounds in English and these sounds, these phonemes are in contrast to one another and here we have a few examples like per sound here generally we write uh, this uh, uh, per sound in slanted lines. So, here we have per sound uh, again we have b sound we have g sound and we have n sound. Now, all these sounds uh, per then uh, we have b and we have g sound also we have n sound all these sounds are distinct uh, distinct sounds or they are in contrast to one another. So, P is different than B, B is different than G and G is different than N. So, all these sounds are different and these sounds are called as phonemes in English. So, this is a very simple definition of phoneme. It is nothing but the smallest unit of speech sound. So, we can measure the phoneme uh, with this type of sounds. So, these are the sounds. Next definition I have borrowed this definition from City and the Major. This is a very useful book uh, if you want to explore more about phonemes and phonetics you can refer to this a course in phonetics and spoken English. It is written by J. City and P. V. the Major. It is a quite famous book and uh, what they say here two phonetically dissimilar sounds like B and K which can occur in same position or environment and are contrastive are called phonemes. Now, these two sounds or b and k are in contrast to each other. They are distinct sounds. B is different than k sound. We are also going to talk about the three term levels of these consonants and there we will understand how uh, these uh, uh, different phonemes or sounds are different than other sounds. So, they are in contrast or they can occur in same position or in same environment or in different environment. So, this definition is given by CTI in the Mija. Next, let us talk about uh, allophones. I have taken this definition from Britannica.com. Now, what are allophones? Allophones are nothing but actually allophones consists of a phoneme. So, there is a phoneme and this phoneme also, uh, can have different types of allophones. Let us see how Allophones, one of the phonetically distinct variants of a phoneme. Now, we need to understand here, it is a variant of phoneme. So, there is the same phoneme and the same phoneme has different allophones. The occurrence of one allophone rather than another is usually determined by its position in the word. For example, at initial, at final position, at medial position, etc. or by its phonetic environment. So, uh, the definition is very simple. An allophone is nothing but a variant of a phoneme. 
so it is a variant of the same phoneme say for example we have taken example of b sound or we have taken example of k sound so these are two uh, phonemes now this b sound have different types of pronunciations when it occurs at initial position at final position or at medial position or in the middle position when this type of uh, phonemes occur in different positions they have different pronunciation they have different articulations so uh, these phonemes have their allophones for example we have b like p then we have k this type of we have k like k sound uh, when we think about a word called cake then we call it as cake there is uh, there are two phonemes k at the initial position and k at the uh, final position so again let's take uh, the same example uh, again this definition is borrowed from cti in the media what they say they say phonetically similar sounds in complementary distribution in relation to one another are called positional variants there is another term used for allophones is positional variants or allophones of the same phoneme so we have same phoneme for example here we have the word cake and scale now here we have uh, k sound at the initial position and this is pronounced as k cake and we have again final position k and this is pronounced like k cake it's uh, if you transcribe it it will become like cake so this is k sound and this is also k sound uh, actually we have two different variants of the same phoneme k and k so this k is called as uh, a different k and this is also a different k now we have the word called scale so it is s k a e and l again we have k sound here so this k sound also is different type of k sound so cake and scale cake and scale cake and scale so you can understand the pronunciation so we have two variants here in this words and another variant we have in scale so these three variants are of the same phoneme and they are called as allophones i hope you got the idea of allophones now let's talk about this uh, phonemes how many sounds are there in english there are 44 sounds in hindi there are 46 sounds in marathi there are 52 sounds in tamil there are 41 sounds and in kannada there are 47 sounds now uh, dear students these phonemes are nothing but the sounds in that particular language and we have distinct sounds in these uh, different types of languages marathi hindi english or kannada now uh, let's talk about allophones how allophones can be a variant of the same phoneme here we have a word called loyal now in loyal if we transcribe this word as l o e and l here we have at the initial position l and at the final position l the pronunciation of both this l is different you can pronounce it as like loyal loyal so this first l is called as clear l here you can see this first l is clear l and the last l is dark l it is called as dark l and it is uh, written like this this is the dark l this is l but it is called as dark l and this is clear l again we have several allophones of the phoneme called r there are several for example we have the word red this r is different than the r in dress again r in carry and again r in throne so the pronunciation of all these r sound is different in different words and hence we can call it as there are several allophones of the same phoneme called r so i hope you got the idea of allophones allophones are nothing but uh, it is a differently pronounced phoneme of the same sound or of the same phoneme now let's talk about the phonemes in english now this uh, phonemes in english are divided into two broad categories the first is uh, vowel sounds and second is consonant sounds or vowel phonemes and consonant phonemes and here again vowels are divided into monophthongs and diphthongs and we have consonants in uh, different 
words here or different sound we can see of the consonants. Now, I will uh, try to pronounce all these uh, sounds as correct as I can. Uh, but uh, let me clear one thing that it will not uh, possible for me to pronounce those words like a native speaker. But I will try uh, to pronounce it as correct as I can. So, I will pronounce these monophthongs and diphthongs or vowels and also we will consider the example given here uh, with the same uh, as in uh, vowels and consonants. So, here we have very first uh, vowel sound E. It is long E as in sheep. Then we have short E as in sheep. Then we have U sound as in good. Then we have U sound. This is long U as in shoot. Then we have E a sound as in hair. Then we have A e sound as in weight. Then we have A sound bed. A sound teacher. This a. Uh, this is uh, we can say a small a. Uh. Then we have long a uh, bird. Then we have a uh sound long a uh, a uh, da. Then we have u a sound as in tourist. Then we have a e sound as in boy. A u sound as in show. Then we have a sound as in cat. Then we have strong a. Uh. This is small a, uh, long a, uh, and strong a. Uh. As in up, up, cut, but like this. So a uh sound in up. Then we have a uh sound as in far. Then we have a uh sound as in on. This is also written like this, the symbol A. Uh, then we have air as in hair. Then we have I as in my. Then we have AU as in cow. Then uh, now let's talk about consonants. Very first consonant P as in P, B as in boat. Then we have T sound as in T, uh, T, D sound as in dog, Ch sound as in cheese. J sound as in June, K sound as in Ka, G sound as in Go. Then we have F sound as in Fly. Then we have F sound as in Video. Then we have Th sound as in Think. Then we have The sound as in This, S sound as in See, J sound as in Zoo, Sh sound as in Shell. J sound as in television, J television, M sound as in man, then we have N sound as in now, Ng sound as in sing, H sound as in hat, L sound as in love, R sound as in red, W sound as in wet, and Y sound as in yes. So these are 44 sounds in English. I hope you got the idea of these 44 sounds. If you have any problem, any query, you can comment below in the comment section. We will try to solve your problems. So, let's meet in the next video. Thank you very much.